Firefighters are battling on the front lines of COVID-19 across the country. So far, more than 1,100 have tested positive for the virus, and thousands of others have been quarantined. I found out how the coronavirus is impacting our local fire departments in this week's You Ask, We Investigate report. First responders are adjusting to life with COVID-19. When, when you deal with COVID-19, it's hard to fight an enemy that you can't see. Like many of us, these men and women are learning as much as they can about the virus. But a lot of our firefighters are, are using that energy from anxiety and even fear, and they're allowing that to manifest as courage, you know, and they're trying to educate themselves. Tom Jenkins is the fire chief in Rogers. A lot of the things that we're doing here are really on a different scale. Uh, the same things we're encouraging the public to do with the addition of the utilization of personal protective equipment. He says his firefighters wear personal protective equipment on all medical calls. Now we've always carried gowns and N95 masks and eye protection because we do a lot of procedures and we deal with a lot of people who are sick. And, you know, you might have blood and other bodily fluids that we come in contact with that we have to protect ourselves from. But those were on a, you know, a small slice of calls. Now you'll see them in a lot of that protective equipment on this mundane and rudimentary calls. As for the call volume. I've seen some reports and had some anecdotal conversations with people that have remarked that call volume must be up. And we're actually finding that to be the opposite. The Rogers Fire Department has seen a 7% reduction in emergency medical calls since the crisis started in March. That means less exposure to people um, and that people are using the 911 system when they really need to use it. But the fire department is required by state regulation to transport a patient if they want to go to the hospital. If those people uh, are experiencing a, you know, a pre-hospital emergency, something that is time sensitive and life threatening, uh, can't catch their breath, chest pains, you name it, then dialing 911 is appropriate. So far, there have been no positive cases at the fire department. Chief Jenkins says it's a testament to the protocols in place. We're just doing everything we can, including educating our firefighters to make sure we can keep them safe. Because if they become sick, then, you know, that, that really could be a crisis for us. If there's something in your community that you want to know more about, we want to investigate it. Send your questions to me at the email address on your screen or on social media. And watch KNWA every Wednesday to see my You Ask, We Investigate report.